Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakakadash, Mashiach, Kwam Yasharala, our big brother, and our father. Feels so good to see these heathens suffering all on TV, all in the streets. It's good. Very good. I love it. So it's so comfortable to be able to talk to my brothers on Discord, communicate through the spirit, and be able to try to comfort each other's spirit. We all going through hell. We're still in captivity, y'all. We ain't came up out of here yet. Just know that we on our way up out of this. <clears throat> That's why we got to keep giving our praise and honor and glory to the Most High, the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach. Never forget what he did for you, and what he did to us, for acting the motherfucking fool, and leaning on to our own understanding, following these, worshiping these paganist gods, these heathen ways. Proverbs 8, 30, 32. Then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight. Rejoice always before him. 31. Rejoicing in the habits in the habitable parts of his earth. And my delight were with the sons of men. 32. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Proverbs 3, 19 and 20. By wisdom of the Lord Yahweh laid the earth foundations. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the watery depths were divided, and the clouds let drops the dew. You know, Most High can do abundant, abundantly works beyond your wildest imagination. And that's all we got to do is keep the faith of a mustard seed so to turn to a mustard tree. Proverbs 15, 1 and 2. A soft answer turn away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. It's common sense. You pulled over by the police, don't be fucking, what the fuck, what the fuck you do this me for? Nah, but whatever, motherfucker, fuck. Nigger, get on the ground, get on the ground. Oh man, what you doing, man? You're on Facebook Live, man. Shut up, nigger. Pop, pop, pop. Oh. That's your ass, dumb two third nigga. Two, the tongue of the wise useth knowledge, alright, but the mouth of the fool pours out foolishness. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, I'm, I'm that nigga. You can't tell me shit. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Bitch, I'm that motherfucker. I'm Rick James, bitch. Boop, boop, boop. Uh. Dead the motherfucker out here in the streets. Proverbs 13, 16, 18. 16. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. So, a prudent man's gonna deal with the knowledge and He's going to keep his mouth and spoke when he's spoken to and not be running around here wickedly saying demonic things just to be saying them. 17. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. So you keep listening to these wicked ass fucking rappers and shit and thinking that's going to get you somewhere. You're going to fall into mischief and be dead in prison. You listen to us and how about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, you're gonna be healthy and have long abundance. 18. 
Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuses instruction, but he that regardeth reproach shall be honored. So I mean, do what you're supposed to do. You know, you got common sense. Everybody knows right from wrong. Nobody gets no excuses. Not mis mentally disabled and challenged. And I be seeing Down syndrome kids working McDonald's, so I know they be reading the word. You acting like you can't read the word. Proverbs 15 to 5. 5. A fool despiseth his father's instruction, but he that regardeth reproof is pure So, a fool just ain't gonna listen to you, how will? Oh, yeah, how about Shimmy How Shy? Go take what you want. Go take that boom, boom, boom. And get that ass, ass in the motherfucking hospital room. So fuck you. All right. Proverbs 15, 31 through 33. The ears that heareth the reproof of life abideth amongst the wise. So we hearing the re reproof of life. And the life is your how about Shimmy How Shy? And his testimonies and his truth that he's coming back. And we keep telling you. Keep knocking your head, but you ain't want to listen. Okay, let's go on. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of you, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So that means don't take the booyaka, 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 and think that everything that you see on the TV is telling the truth. Just keep your mind right. Keep that one eye on your house. Show me 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 your house. Matthew 6, 14 to 15. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So that means don't be running around here having grudges with your one third Ock brothers and Ock wife sisters. Then you can. Have grudges with these heathen, fuck them up. It's time to turn up, feel me? 16. But if ye forgive not men that trespass, neither will your father, Yahweh, but show me how shall I forgive your trespasses. Common sense, you know what's up. Matthew 18, 35. 35. So likewise shall my heavenly father do also unto you, if ye from your heart forgive not one of his brothers. Their trespasses. So look, so likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you if you, if ye from your heart forgive not one of your Ock brothers or your Ock wife sisters their trespasses. So you gotta learn how to talk sensible to your Ock, your one forty four thousand Ock brothers, one third. Okay? Proverbs 21, 13. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. As these, as these niggas, that, when they see somebody homeless, you know what I'm saying, that's really homeless, not trying to just get some drugs, get high. He tries to give them some food or just tries to do something. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty of times I pass up homeless people standing on the set of expressway. I give them money, you know what I mean? I'm not stingy. And I always get blessings that come back on me. Then, just, just something that's in your heart. See an old man, even though he's homeless, you think, oh, he ain't gonna do nothing but get some bread and some alcohol, some drugs, and this shit. Oh, gave him, gave him $20. Up oh, that nigga's, ah, ha, ha. That could have been an angel, you never know. You got that $20, even if he did go get a crack rock, shit. I can't judge him. Let him do what he do. You know? You gotta, you gotta keep your mind right. You can do positive things in this life. Matthew 7 2. Number 2. For what? For with what judgment ye judge, shall he be judged? And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. So, what do you think is gonna happen? If you helping homeless people, you're gonna get blessings from the Most High because you're seeing your heart and you're trying to really help the person. I'm saying, I can't say you can pull over and just stop every time you're on the expressway see somebody standing there. I'm saying, it's too much traffic. Then dude might come out off of $5, get hit by a car. Boom! Oh, man! And this is looking, you looking like, damn, I shouldn't do 
called him out here to get this money, get hit by a car, semi. You know what I'm saying? Stop in the works the most high. You know what I'm saying? All right. Matthew 7 and 2. For with what judgment ye judge shall he be judged, and what measures ye met, ye shall put the measure on you. So, you know, slop. You know what it is. I repeat it again, so you don't forget it. Mark 4, 24, 25. No, Mark 4, 24. Slop. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear, with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. That's what I just said. You know. Okay. Proverbs. Hold up. Yeah, let me go to uh, Proverbs 13 and 3. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that open wide his lips shall have destruction. That's why I need to get fucked up. I think I already, told, I already said it. I'm going over the same scriptures again. But it's all in the spirit of Yahweh Shemi Hashai. He wants you to hear this. You know? Proverbs 12 and 2. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips, and with a double heart do they speak. This means they they talk about him mouth, they snake in the grass as it is. They speaking vanity against you. First they smile on your face, hey neighbor, hey, it's a nice day. And then they go behind your back and run in motherfucking dick suckers, speaking with a double heart, stab you in the back. That's what they do, your own family, your own friend. No. Psalms 34 and 13. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. You know what that means? Don't talk bad against your two third. I mean, your one third is a lot. Fuck a two third. You can talk bad all day about the two thirds. Don't talk bad about your one third brothers, brothers and ox sisters. You know what I'm saying? Fuck two thirds though. Fuck these holes all day. With a golden rod arm. And it keep, keeps going and won't stop. Proverbs 10 and 6. Blessed blessings are upon the head of the just, but balance covereth the mouth of the wicked. That means when you talking bad about you know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about Shimmy How Shy? Like these bitch ass niggas been doing on Brother Matt's channel. You know, that shit's about to be fucked up. That's why they ain't even on there no more. They probably did somewhere. And they got ran over by a motherfucking train or some shit. Fuck them niggas. Proverbs 21 and 23. Whosoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps his soul from troubles. You no. Know? So shut the fuck up. Put it on your mouth. You might be out here a statistic. You ain't went saying you how about Shimmy How Shot. Kept on saying this bullshit, talking crazy to people. You know what I'm saying? Job 1.22. In all his jobs, in all of this, Job sin not, nor changed God's fault. Foolish. Or ch charged God foolish. It's a lot. In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. So why would why would Job sin if you know the Most High was putting him through this test and he told him he's going to get him back ten times. So he had to go through it to get it off. Oh, sometimes you got to go through it to get it off, but you can't turn your back on your how about Shimmy how shy and push you through something. It's for, your, for you. You're being tried. Like we all Israel tribes been tried for all these years in slavery. That's what's been going on. First Chronicles 29 11. 11. Thine, O God, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in earth is thine. 
Thine is thy kingdom, O Lord, and thou art half exalted as head above all. You know who he is. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Most High. Matthew 6 and 13. 13. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. See, all these other people, they run around us, but none of that was chosen by Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. They ain't significant. You know what I'm saying? We, we have a chosen seed, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we are significant to him. And so whatever people say to us, they better watch what they say to us, how they treat us, because we are the most significant ones. So you how about you shout me, how shy? We go all this, how shy? We matter, you how shy? You know what I'm saying? And they be fucked up when they, um, when they talk shit to us. They come up against us, they're gonna be cut into pieces. Cause they're ignorant. And there won't be no excuses regardless. Won't be no excuses. Matthew 5 and 11, 13. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manners of evil against you falsely for my sake. And they get cut into pieces. 12. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven, for so pers persecute, persecute they that prophets which were before you. Okay, so slot. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they that prospereth which were before you. So, you know what's gonna happen to him. They let to get twisted all the way up. You know, you know you, there was, all, all the prophets were persecuted. They was before you, but guess what? They was us. We found that who, we found that we are, we're waking up to the truth. 13, ye are the salt of the earth, but the salt have lost its savior Wherewith shall it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing but to be casted out and to be thrown under the foot of men. So, do you want to be casted out? He just told you to salt the world. So how, how do you lose your flavor? When you start going back and worshiping these heathen nations, going back in a two-third view, you gonna lose your flavor? You're gonna be casted out into the motherfucking street. It's like that bitch with the umbrella. It's pulling all shit, pulling all salt out the back. Yeah. You know what the fuck's up? Alright. Proverbs 26 and 23. Burning lips are, burning lips and a wicked heart are like a pot. A pot shed covered with silver dross. So when you get burning lips and a wicked heart, it's like a pot shirts. You know the pot shirts covered with silver dross is. That's like that's like some shit, some rusty shit. This shit, the, your lips is burning. And you just keep running your motherfucking dip sucker about some bullshit. And they ain't got nothing obtained with the most high you how about show me how shot. You always trying to brush it off. Cause you're thinking about some old wicked shit to do. Two thirds shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit don't make sense. You burn and you walking with double heart. You acting like you really love the most high, but you don't. Cause cause you run that motherfucking dick suck and saying this and that. But you really don't have no love and compassion in your heart for your house. I show me how shy my So you're gonna get your motherfucking lips sold up. Like that movie I seen. Make every scary dream ever made your wildest imagination, your wildest nightmares gonna come true. All you heathen nations will tell you. Every holiday it's gonna be a scary movie. Christmas might be Michael Miles 
Thanksgiving is gonna be Freddy. It's gonna be real life. We'll get a little Bushwick Bill, prank him back, make him the real black Chucky. Ha 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 ha. Right off in your ass. That motherfucking double bladed, rusty ass butcher knife. Carved up, sharpened on the motherfucking sidewalk. No. These, these motherfuckers be running around here. They act like they love the most high, but they don't. No, it's crazy. Psalms 41 and 9. Yay, my own familiar friends in whom I trusted, which did I eat of my bread, have lifted up his heel against me. Psalms 41 and 9. No, they always lifting up their heels against us, talking shit, all this shit. But it's alright, we better turn up. Crush all these motherfuckers who got something to say, but it's the most high. Yeah, how about show me how shy? Psalms 55, 12, you know what I'm saying? For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me that did mag magnif magnify himself against me, then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou a man of my own equal, my my guide and my equanimity, my slot, equanimity. See, we took sweet counsel together and walked through the house of God in company. You know how they do you. Act like you ain't friend your whole life. Y'all talk about the most high. Y'all. And then they see you getting the more truth. Then they want to snake you. Because they, they, they falling dry. Because they wasn't meant for them to know you how about Shimmy how shy. They falling dry. Instead they want to go to St. Arnold's or St. Benedict's and suck some dicks. <laughs> And they never could get you to go to the church, but they like, how does he know the work? How does he got the oil? How is he hyped up? And I'm up here stressing out going to church. Gotta put my motherfucking Nimrod tie on, look like a dick. Mm -hmm. Oh, so bullshit. And they hate on you. She gotta cut them motherfucking wicked ass, won't he do us off? I don't care who it is, fuck them all. I like to give all praise and honor and glory to the most high. Yeah, how about Shim, you how shy? Mashiach, Rakakadash, Mami Asherah. Till next time, Israel. Shalom.